welcome to another Loku Works Wednesday. Uh, today uh, we're taking a look at this uh, V1. It is a uh, Bachmann V1. It's an older version of the split chassis. It's uh, learning number uh, 67610. Now uh, this particular locomotive uh, was a eBay special. I, I got it off eBay uh, from some guy in Canada and uh, basically um, it, it just doesn't run. And uh, I took a look at it, did the usual maintenance and so on, it, it still doesn't run. And um, the, the reason it doesn't run um, actually has to do with the, um, the wheels. So I'm going to go and basically to open it, uh, there's uh, two screws uh, right here and here. Um, and so you take those out and the uh, chassis comes right off the top. So to uh, set that aside. And you can see here it is the older uh, split chassis version. Now what can happen with these is they actually have um, these kind of uh, plastic uh, cogs that are in the middle um, that, that the wheels go into and those can sometimes get damaged and, and basically cause it to short out but in this case um, what the problem is so if you see here um, normally on a steam locomotive uh, they do a thing called quartering where the wheels are basically offset from one side to the other. It sort of allows it to uh, to move. So if you look at the wheel, it's got these little um, markers here in the in the upper corners, and these are pointing off uh, to one direction. And and basically the other side should be offset um, by about 90 degrees um, or a quarter of a turn. And if you look here, you can see they're actually lined up like so. So the one on this side is pointing up and if you think of this as a clock uh, it's pointing up in the um, in about the 11 o'clock position, 10 o'clock position and if you look on the side the uh, adjacent wheel uh, should is also pointing in that same direction just in, in the opposite way. So um, what we need to do is basically remove uh, all of the wheels and um, basically offset them the, the correct way by a quarter and um, then put them back on and hopefully uh, it should work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that and we'll show you it happening on the video here and we'll go from there. Um, now with this particular locomotive um, there's two areas you've got to be careful with. Um, this piece here um, should hopefully just pop out and there's also a piece here that needs to pop out as well. Uh, you've got to be very careful when working with the valve gear. You, you definitely do not want to bend it. Um, so you just have to take your time and uh, be careful with it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you can see there that just pops right out and there's a little uh, peg right there. You're going to do the same thing. Okay, so you can see here we've uh, removed everything, and there's um, we got these little plastic um, kind of uh, bearings that I was talking about, um, and there's one on each side. As so you can make sure those line up properly, and um, that's basically it. So what we're going to do is uh, realign this side, and then realign the other side, and it should hopefully. Um, Work out pretty well. All right.
we're gonna go uh, double check against a couple of photos to make sure I got uh, this part of the valve gear uh, configuration properly. I'm not entirely certain that I did. Um, and then we're gonna go run it on the test track and see what happens. Okay, so I actually had another one of these tanks at a uh, V3, so I was able to compare uh, the valve gear and uh, to make sure I had it correct. And basically, the thing I had wrong was uh, this piece here actually goes up at a 90 degree angle um, on the top here, and it comes down up and across like so. So I think I had it hanging down. Uh, this kind of was reversed, um, but then that could well have been the way uh, the person who reassembled this before me. Um, had it, and again here you can see it's going to come straight down into this section here. You make sure it's got a 90 degree angle there and a 90 degree angle down here. Alright, so uh, next up I'm going to show you this uh, chassis running on the test track, and then what we'll do is we'll put the case back on it and the body shell back on it, and it should be uh, good to go. Alright, so there you have it. We're going to go put the body shell back on it and uh, send it around the track one more time and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. But basically uh, what we did was um, we made sure that uh, this side was at an angle compared to the other side. So if I flick the chassis around, you can see it's um, at a different angle. So this one's down here by my thumb. And this one is in the opposite uh, kind of clock position right here. Um, where my thumb is, so you can see my thumb is where the other one is. This one's directly opposite at about 90 degrees. And that's uh, worked out pretty well. Alright, so uh, that's another uh, workshop Wednesday for you. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, like I said in the start of the video, uh, this particular uh, kind of process of making sure the wheels are slightly offset is called quartering. And if you want to find out some more information, simply uh, Google the word, word uh, steam locomotive uh, quartering, and it should give you some information. And like I said, you may have to uh, inspect the um, the wheels and the valve gear and so on from photos, uh, just to make sure that you have it correct, as you saw there. Um, I had to uh, compare it to another logo uh, to get that uh, valve gear back in there properly. However, it's uh, it's all good. It's uh, working pretty well. So I'm going to both put the chassis back on it and show it to you going around a few times and we'll call it a day. So uh, there you have it, that's uh, 67610 uh, fixed, and that wraps up another uh, Workshop Wednesday, so I hope you enjoyed this video, 
until next time.